she will stay with me and Brendan, I'm really worried that she will judge me and my family and how we live, no matter what I do. I think after she saw the other homes, she probably had this inkling of an idea that we were gonna have the same type of house. Yeah, just letting you know that there's nothing wrong with other homes. What's going on, people? We are back again with another Moving Mad video. And this one right here is all about Mary and Brandon. But as always, Mary always starts off by complaining. Wow, this woman, does she not ever get tired of just complaining, frustrating, always being a wing bag? Well, either way, we're in a scenario now, or at least in a situation where not only is she planning about Brandon's mother coming and judging her, which to be fair, hasn't actually happened because Brandon's mother did say that this place is actually a whole lot better than I expected. At least you're not in a shack. But the moment that Brandon says, well, maybe my mom thought it was going to be this and that, what does Mary do? Mary gets defensive. So that tells me straight off the bat that Mary is only thinking about one thing, and that is being defensive and doing anything that she can possibly to discredit Brandon's mother to prove that she's the bad one and that Mary is the good one. Which is quite interesting because you see, when Mary tries to bring this to Brandon's attention or tries to manipulate his mind to favor her, well, Brandon definitely gives a very good response, and that's something that we are about to get into. But of course, please do start off by hitting that like button and also subscribing. But hey, let's get into it. Your mommy's not talking to me at all. Okay, well, to be fair, you can put an effort into it. And you remember when you said, um, hug each other, and I'm trying to hug, but she's like changing the conversation. Okay, well, if I'm being honest, I didn't really see you try to hug her. I... I'm not trying to defend her. From the start, you're defending her, so... You see, this is what I really like about Brandon. I really like the fact that he's alert. He stays awake, he stays aware of the fact that Mary's always gonna say something that may not necessarily fall in line with the actual events, okay? And I say that because the second that she tried to say that, hold on a minute, I tried to make a little bit of effort, is I know you didn't. Your mom's not making any effort, no, 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 what do you mean? But you're not trying to make any effort neither. You know, she tried once, it backlash. She tried again, it backlash. And then you go into a conversation about you're not defending me. You know, it's crazy, isn't it? How she's really trying to put him in the middle between her and his own mom. Really? Is that really a good move for anyone, anyone to do? Absolutely freaking not. But you see, Mary's always going to be hell bent to get her own way. And that's always going to be her biggest downfall. And that's probably going to be the reason why they may end up breaking up in the future. I mean, ideally, <laughs> I feel like they should, but hey, man. That is here or there. Either way though, Mary keeps trying, but Brandon keeps on staying awake and that is the key thing. And I say this because people should always make sure that they are awake in all situations, okay? Because a lot of the time in this world, there are many people in this world that want to come in and they want to try and manipulate the, the narrative. They want to try and pretend as if something didn't happen in the hopes that you forgot it happened. Many people even try and reword what you're saying into something else. And that's why it's always good to pay attention to what people are saying and always pay attention to what people are doing. But then that's how you're able to identify if these people are actually being authentic. But then again, some people are being authentic, but it's just who they are, right? <laughs> but either way, though, either way, though, let's, let's continue. Be on my side. You promised me. Side. You promised me. Yeah, I, I, look, I'm keeping my promise. I'm on your side. I can't feel it. I'll just, I'll get my mom to talk to you. It doesn't have to be right now, but... Maybe we can get an actual conversation started. Can you imagine being in a situation? And I'm pretty sure many of you have been in this situation, but it's not a situation that I think is fair. But imagine being put in a situation where your partner's trying to get you to pick their side over their family side. I've always said this, and I always say this. The family that you make is more important than the family that you come from. Because the family that you make is the future. Okay? That is the future of yourself, right? Because that's the family that you're going to have your children with, you know what I mean? And so on and so on and so on, all right? But at the same time, though, when you meet someone, that person should not be trying to divide you away from your family, okay? Especially if you've got a good family. It's a bit different maybe if you've got a toxic family or a family that isn't necessarily good for you, different kind of conversation. But if you've got a family that bring no harm to you, then nobody should be coming into your life and become jealous of the fact that your family loves you and you know cares about you and therefore will try and tear that apart. That doesn't make any sense. That means that that person simply does not love you. It means that that person only loves themselves and only cares about them getting their own way and they could care less about how it affects you or how it may hurt other people around you as well as even yourself. 
And Mary's hell bent on that. That's the kind of person that she is. So now we're in a position where Brandon has to go and tell his own mother to now have a conversation with Mary. Which, listen, on another level, realistically, should Brandon's mother be making an effort to try and connect with, with Brandon's woman? Absolutely. But at the same time, though, we know that Mary hasn't made things easy one bit. And I feel like because she hasn't made things easy one bit, I can imagine how hard it could be for Brandon's mother to be the bigger person. I can imagine. But I guess sometimes being a parent, you've got to buy the bygones and make those efforts. So, of course, at the same time, Brandon's mom definitely should be making a bit more of an effort to, you know, communicate with Mary without a shadow of a doubt. But Mary can't sit there and pretend as if she has never been a part of the problem because she's always been a part of the problem. When has she not been a part of the problem? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on. But listen. You let me know exactly what you're thinking about the situation here with Brandon and Mary. As far as I am concerned, um, if I am Brandon, I will find a way to remove myself from being in the middle and let these two women figure out the thing, figure out their relationship together. And if, it, if they can, brilliant. If they can't, well, I guess it is what it is. Because at the end of the day, Brandon and Mary is now pregnant with Brandon's alleged child. <laughs> so, of course, he has a responsibility to stick by his side you know, and uh, be there for the for, for the birth of his, of his child and obviously help, and obviously be there to help, help raise the child. But of course, if the relationship doesn't improve in that time, of course, they're going to have to go separate ways. You know what I mean? No one should ever stay together just because of a child or children. But hey, you let me know what you're thinking down below and we'll talk about it. There's a exoskeleton of a spider. It's a oh, shell. my God. It's shed its skin. Don't worry about it. Where is it? It's gone. This is old. Don't put it near me. I'll just throw it out the window. Hold up. It's not even a real spider, it's just the skin. I didn't know spiders shed skins. Well, those ones do. Good thing you got it. See? Oh my goodness, it's one spider. Where was it? Behind the bed. Do something about that. That little baby lizard? It's oh, hiding. Pull it outside. Yeah, they can squeeze out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just had to show the clips of Brandon's mom losing her shiz. This stuff right here was just pure TV gold. <laughs> anyway, have a good day. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the comment section. Peace.